Hey, it's Nathan with crazyoutmarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the store function within ClickFunnels 2.0. So what a store does is basically gives your website a storefront so people could browse your products and services and see everything you have all like in one place. So it's kind of like a Shopify store, but now ClickFunnels lets you do that too. So you can have your sales funnels over here and then your storefront over here so people could see everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. To do it, we go to sites. And we want to come over to store here and we need to go ahead and create our store so I can change the name of my store and change the path. I'll just leave it as the default here. We'll go ahead and do create store and just like that your store was successfully created and you can see like a little preview of it right here. But let's come up to the gear icon so we'll click on edit and we see a couple different options so we can change the name and path again. We could also make sure that it is SEO indexable, so that way it can be found within search engines. So we can go ahead and turn that on because we do want our store to be found via the search engines. You can change your SEO title and description here, also your social image. So if you paste a link to your store on Facebook or X or Twitter, then it would load this image up in addition to the SEO title and description. And then it does say we have advanced options here where we could change the default theme, but I don't see any way to do that. So I don't know if it's glitching a little bit or not, but we wanna leave the same theme as the rest of our website. So we'll just go ahead and click on update store. And the next thing we can do is go ahead and preview our store so we can see what it looks like right now. So we just have this template right here and we see featured products or my workspace's first product. So there's Two, two links right here and it's kind of ugly looking, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and click on featured products and see what comes up. So here's our featured products area and we can see that my workspace's first product is the only featured product we have. So we'll click into it and we'll take a look at our product page. So here's what our product page looks like right here. And of course we can change its look and feel later on too. So this is kind of like what our store looks like. Now, if we want to add additional products to our store, we come over to products and let's go ahead and add our ClickFunnels 2.0 course to our store. So I'm going to edit the product and sales channel visibility. We're going to go ahead and turn on online store and we'll go ahead and update the product now. And actually, let me go ahead and add the feature tag as well. So it's in our featured products and we'll go ahead and update the product again. And now let's go back to our store. So we'll go to sites and store. And we'll go ahead, we'll just pop this up real quick so we can quickly view it. So here's our products again. So we had the featured products and then my workspace's first product. And now we see the ClickFunnels 2.0 course. And since it has an image associated with it, it pops up and it looks a little better than just my workspace's first product. So something to be mindful of, but we'll click into it and we can see what this product looks like. So this is what this product looks like right here on our product page. Alrighty, let's go ahead and head back for a second and talk about this store template right now. So this is what it looks like, you know, right out of the box. And if we don't like what it looks like, we can go ahead and customize it. So we'll come over to customize right here and we'll be able to edit our theme right here within the page builder. So like all this, white space up here like I think it is too much so I would go ahead and I would adjust my padding at the top and my padding at the bottom clear it out a little bit and then we have the collections area right here so as you can see we just have a featured products collection if we wanted to have more let me come back out of here real quick and we can talk about it so come on down to products right here and we have collections and we can go ahead and create a collection at the top right. And let's say that I wanna have one for courses. So I can throw all my courses in this particular collection. I wanna make sure that it's visible in the online store. And we'll go ahead and click on create collection. And of course I could go ahead and add a description and have a collection image. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and select this image right here cause that looks kind of like a course thing. We can do a manual collection where I manually add products to the collection or automatically based off of different attributes. I'm gonna go ahead and do automatic and create a filter here and click on it and product tags is course. So anytime that a product tag is course, it'll automatically add that product into this particular collection. And then we get into the SEO and sharing options, which is similar to every other page. We'll go ahead and update collection. So now we have a courses collection and also we have a featured products collection, which will show up in the online store. I'm gonna go ahead and add an image to the featured products collection. So that way it looks a little better. So we'll do select image 
and we'll do a free pick and let's go ahead and look for fireworks and this looks pretty enough so we'll go ahead and select it and we'll go ahead and update the collection then and then let's go ahead and head back to our store and we'll refresh it and we can now see that the featured products collection has an image so does my courses option they're two different sizes so it looks a little funky so it might be ideal to make sure the images are all the same size Coming on down here, we can see the products that we have as well available. So you can see how this page is kind of coming together. Let's go back out of here and go to our site and our store again. And let's go ahead and uh, customize it a little more. So you can see that the collections should have images and also the name and that's how they all work. And it would dynamically update, you know, depending how many collections we have. There's also pagination down here at the bottom. And you can see if you hover over it, it is like a, an item or an element. So you can click on settings and so you, there's different settings, items per row. So if you want to change that, you know, you can customize it how you need. You could hide the pagination, you could change the colors and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and customize that element however you desire. And then here's our individual products right here. And as you can see, this is also an element if I can get onto it. And you can adjust those settings as well. So there's some different options in here. And so you can go ahead and adjust it to how you see fit. Like let's do two items per row in my case. And I'm gonna do the same with collections actually cause I only have two collections and two products. Let's go ahead and make it two. There we go. We'll save. And then we'll go ahead and refresh what this thing looks like. And so now we have two and two so if i had more products and collections it would automatically add them to the page and let's go ahead and click into this collection real quick so this is what the collections looks like right here so same concept of editing my store front i could go ahead and edit my collection and then i could go ahead and change you know the padding the colors whatever else add some stuff if i want to and make it unique and make it flow with my website and branding and all that type of stuff. So you can go ahead and adjust things in here and then the individual product pages as well can be adjusted so you can make sure that it looks good for what you're trying to do. And as you may notice, all these ones with the squirrely brackets are like merge tags or short codes where they'll automatically pull in the product name and the product display price that are associated with the particular product they're looking at. So if I click over here, we can see that ClickFunnels 2.0 course is the name of the product. There's the price, there's the image, and then the description right here. And then of course the order form over there. And so there's the product name, price, the image, description, order form. So you can see how the template here aligns to what actually gets displayed on the product page. So that's how you can go ahead and change like the template and look and feel of your store. I'm gonna come back out because there's one other thing to show you in regards to stores. So we'll go to store right here and there's this concept called store funnels. So of course with the store, people just go there, they can click on the product, they can look at it and then they can buy it and it's not really a funnel. However, with store funnels, you can attach a funnel to a particular product or for particular customers and so that way when they buy something through your store then they're greeted with a sales funnel where they can do one-time offers or down sells or upsells and all that type of stuff so come over to store funnels and we see the option to add a new store funnel now you need to have a funnel already created in order to add a funnel to your store. So link in the description down below if you need help creating a sales funnel to begin with. And let's say that I wanna have a sales funnel so people could join some different communities that I have. So it's just a little upsell. So we'll just call this the co community up upsell and too many M's in there. And then I need to select what funnel I want people to go through. So I have this full sales funnel. So this would bring people to the full sales funnel as soon as they order the product through my store. Now, one thing to note, select which funnel will trigger after a checkout and filter match happens. Best practice here is to drop on to a funnel starting with an upsell page, but any funnel can work. So that's one thing to note. It would be best to go right into an upsell page versus like, you know, an initial order form page because a person already did order something. So they're already in the buying mode. So now you want to go directly into an OTO page. But as it says, any funnel will work. And another tip it says is to choose a funnel on the same domain as your store. That way your user's information, including payment details will be retained. So that way you have the one click upsell functionality. And then we can go ahead and turn this thing active and we'll go ahead and create a filter as well. 
So in this case, let's go ahead and show this funnel to everybody that does not have access to the main product. So let's look for owns product right here. It is not an main product. So basically anytime somebody buys something through my store and they do not own the product, main product, then they will be brought to this community upsell funnel that I have set up. And in this upsell, they'll have the opportunity to purchase the main product. And as you can see, there's other filtering options as well. So we can have an and statement. So it has to match, you know, two or three criteria or we can have an or statement as well. So there's a bunch of different ways to place people into the correct store funnel. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do create store funnel. And now every time somebody buys a product through my store and does not have access to the main product, they'll be brought to this sales funnel right here. And so that's a great way to incorporate funnels with your store. And that's pretty much it for this video on the store feature in ClickFunnels 2.0. And I know it's a lot of information because it assumes you already have products set up, you have funnels, you know how to use a page builder and all that type of stuff. And of course I have videos explaining how to do all that stuff on my channel, so please check it out. And if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.